Hello everyone. So today we'll start a chapter in ray optics where we'll learn about the phenomena of refraction of light. Well, before we get into refraction of light, let us take, an, take a look at a couple of interesting phenomena that light exhibits. So what we'll do here is we'll take a steel beaker or a steel bowl and we'll place a coin at the bottom of this beaker. Now the coin is visible to us, right? Now what we'll do is we'll start to move away from the beaker so that the coin moves away or moves out of our line of sight. Now we, now we are not able to see the coin, right? Now what we'll do is we'll start to pour some water in this beaker. If we keep on pouring water in this beaker, what we'll observe is that after some time, the coin starts to become visible to us again. If we keep on pouring more water, the complete coin becomes visible to us. How did this happen? Did the coin bend out of shape or did it somehow start to flow, float on the water? That does not make any sense, right? Now let us have a look at another interesting phenomena. So in this case, we have a glass beaker with us and we have filled the glass beaker with water. We also have a pencil with us. Now we know that this pencil is actually straight in shape, right? The pencil is straight in shape. Now what we'll do is we'll put this pencil inside this glass beaker. What we'll observe is that inside this glass beaker, the portion of the pencil which is inside this glass beaker appears to be bent in shape. But when we take this pencil out of the glass beaker, the pencil again appears to be straight. How did that happen? Did the pencil change its shape when it was put inside the beaker? Again, this does not make any sense. So both these phenomena can be explained by the refraction of light. Refraction of light is another phenomena which is exhibited by light. So in both these cases, the bending or moving out of shape was neither done by the coin nor the pencil. It was the light that was coming from these objects which allows us to see these objects that actually bent, thus changing our perception of the shape or the position of these objects. So whenever light coming from an object bends from its path or deviates from its path somehow due to some reason, that changes our perception of the position or the shape of that particular object. We have studied in the chapter of reflection of light that we can see all the objects which are around us when light reflects from these surfaces and reaches our eyes, thus allowing us to see all these objects. So if the light coming from these objects actually bends out of its path or deviates out of its path, we will see these objects as if of distorted shape or as if they are away from their original position. So this phenomena is what is called as refraction of light. This bending of light is what is called as the refraction of light. When light moves from one medium to another medium, it bends out of its original path or it deviates from its original path. And this deviation, this phenomena of deviation of light is what is called as the refraction of light. Now, when light travels from one medium to another medium, why does it deviate from its path? Well, the speed of light is different in both these mediums. So whenever light travels from one medium to another medium, the speed of light changes, right? From the first medium to the second medium. Due to this, light changes it, or it deviates from its original path. And due to this different speed of light in different mediums, light bends when it moves from one medium to another medium. So we have seen a couple of experiments and we have seen what the phenomenon of refraction of light is and why it happens. So in our next lecture, we'll study about the phenomena of refraction of light in more detail with the help of a rectangular glass slab. And we'll also study about how we calculate and quantify refraction of light. See you in the next lecture.